Hi everyone, welcome to today's Arts and Crafts. So, we're going to be making a dream catcher, okay? Nice and easy activity. It's my first day back off holiday, so if I'm a bit slow on how to do it, okay, that's the reason. All right then. So, if you've got your activities pack banging, all you need is a pair of scissors, okay? But if you are just watching along and you want to do this at home, you're going to need just a paper plate, then you're going to make holes all the way around the middle. So, cut the middle out first, all right? So, it's gone. Then you want to make holes all the way around. You want one hole at the top and you want three holes at the bottom. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to need some quite a bit of wool. Okay. And then you're going to need yourself some feathers. Okay. Any color feathers would do. So let's get on with it then. So once you can find the end of your string or wool, whatever you're using, like so. All right, so you've got the end here, perfect. All we're going to do is just start feeding it through. Nice, simple and easy. All right, so just pull all the way through. Might take a while because you've probably got quite a bit of it. If it's knotted up, just unknot it and we can get back to it, okay? Look at that, it is proper knotted, isn't it? So just pull the nut out. Find it. Very nutty. Right, I'm gonna do some editing magic. So I'm gonna literally click my fingers and it will be unknotted. And boom, unknotted, just like that, okay? So now we're gonna put a nut right at the bottom, okay? So just put a nut there, so we know where the bottom is. Boom, okay? So just got a little nut there. So, once you've found it, put it all the way through. Oh. Like so, and then you're gonna to get to this point. So now we need to, where you put your nut, feel where it is, and then just round and down, nice and gently, and just do it again for extra security. Boom, so you got yourself a little nut there, tied it off so it's not gonna go anywhere. Grab your trusty scissors, be careful with them, and snip so it's off, okay? So now you should be able to hopefully dangle it. It doesn't come off, so that's working beautifully. Okay, so now we're going to form the other end of our wool and we are going to start feeding it through. So we want it to be quite cool and different. So we don't want to just copy the same holes. We want to make it so the whole thing is covered. Okay, so grab it. I'm going to go down the bottom now, but don't put it in these three holes. Okay, because these are for later, just the inner circle. Okay. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to pull it all the way through. Shimon, on! Look really fast, see if you can, how fast you can do it. Oh, and that's why we want to be careful because we don't want to knot it again, all right? So just give it a bit of a detangle. Like so. So, and just pull it nice and gently through. And boom. Okay, so we've got our first one there, all right? So now we want to go from here, I'm gonna go here, okay? So let's get that bit done. So, and then, so we're gonna go here. So then you just wanna vary it where you put the holes, okay? So just put them in random places so the string's all stretched out, like so, all right? So I'm gonna do a bit of magic now and it will be done. So this is what it should look like, okay? So you've got the last one here. So take your trusty scissors, snip yourself a good, a good bit of playroom. Yeah, I'd say snip it, but apparently I can't use scissors today. Okay, so just snip it off. Then we don't throw this away because you're gonna need this, okay? So just put it to one side, boom. Then we want to tie this off so it doesn't come on loose. So, Go to the back bit, it looks crazy. Loads of string everywhere. Get it, go under one of them, pull it a bit tight, not too tight, you don't wanna rip it. Then make yourself a nut again, and boom, down, perfect. Let's snip this bit off, we don't need it now. Okay, so boom, we have ourselves the beginning of our dream catcher, all right? So I want to see these, not white, I want to see the colourful, I want to see all the colourful things you can do, okay? 
All right, so now we're gonna put this to one side. We're gonna need our feathers, okay? So for this, it's quite easy. We need two of the, well, you don't have to have the same, but I'm gonna have, so it's matching. And I'm gonna have these two here, then some a three one, with like different bright colors. All right, so we're gonna have to get our wool again. So cut yourself a nice long piece. Like so. Then I'm gonna have two short pieces, okay? These two have to be the same length, okay? So just chop. Then measure it up again. And chop, okay? Put that to one side. So now we are gonna, we've got our pieces of wool. So we've got one, the same, two the same size. Then we've got one that's just a little bit longer, okay? So grab your feathers. So Part them up on what colour you want or whatever funky pattern you're going for. So I'm going to have a pink, yellow and red. And then pinch them at the bottom there. Alright. So you've got something that looks a bit like that. Then get your long bit of ribbon for your 3-1 and just wrap it round. Go crazy. Wrap, 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 wrap. Then give it a bit of a pull tight so they're not going to go anywhere. Then very carefully, it's a bit fiddly, we've got to tie it up, okay? We don't want them escaping, do we? So through, tie, and then let's do it again for safety. Oh, I say it, but fingers aren't working today. First day back and all, and boom. So we have ourselves a dangly feather. So I want you to do that to these two. All right, so let's get on it. And boom, so I've got my three done. All right, so now we're going to attach them. Okay, so we've got our three holes at the bottom that hopefully we've not put ribbon through. All right, so right here, here we go. So grab your one. I'm gonna put the long one in the middle. I think it looks cool. Then tie it off. Round, boom, and slip. And let's do another one for good measure. So round, round, boom, perfect. And then just give it a snip. And there we go, so we've got one there. Let's attach the rest of them. So here we go, we're gonna straight through there. Same old again, just give it a nice tie. Not too tight, we don't wanna rip the plate. Boom. And la boom, all right. That's that done. Then exactly the same, the other side. Up, tie, down, down, oh, oh, I say it's easy, but I keep missing it, there we go, so then let's pretty it up a bit, let's chop off the excess stuff we don't need, boom, oh, not the best there, all right, so now grab yourself your bit of ribbon you've got left. So we're gonna have a good chunk, all right? A nice big bit. Slice that off, and then to the top. All right, so now we are just going to feed it through, like so, all the way through, then match it up at the top. Then boom, 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 and tie. Got ourselves a little loop so we can hang it up. All right, so this is your finished product. I hope you all enjoyed. I expect this to be really colorful and creative because I've seen some of your artwork before and it is fantastic what you guys have created with me over this period. Uh, next week's Arts Crafts will be ready to pick up Friday, usual time, 11 to one, okay? Uh, if you would like to know more about where next or what we do or just want to find out if what we do, you know, what we do and what we offer people. There'll be a link to Russell Wall's email address anywhere down here. It's our operations manager. He'll be able to help you with inquiries. If you would like a pack of the arts and crafts booked for yourself, contact me, Nick Wilkinson, at our Where Next Hub's Facebook page, or send me an email, anything, go for it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time. Bye.